Okay, here we are right outside the squid room. So, when we go in, I'm going to do basically a buffer jump to land on the one block just short of the highest one. And then we're going to land on the toadstool. We're going to let one shot go by, the two shots go by. I always land on top of this, do, a, do the tiniest jump you can do on that top platform. And then land on that toadstool and that'll get you over it every time. I'm going to see if I can do it back to back just to give you two shots in a row of it. Because it's kind of a quick explanation, so it's a... Uh, it's not exactly easy to do right in the moment, but... So I do that full jump onto that one top block, land on the toadstool. Obviously, you have to wait for that one shot to go by. Um, the second shot, as long you don't have to, like, be super tight. You don't have to be super lax, either. It's just as long as you don't get hit by it, obviously. The, the important factor is getting trace on that top one tile and then doing a small jump onto the second toadstool over the second guy. I don't care about taking damage here. Um... Because if you can keep trace, the higher you keep them, the longer it takes for that jellyfish to, jellyfish to fire a shot. Boom. There you go. Two in a row. Must be doing something right. 